All right, welcome to this uh, beginner course on Jupyter 8. So the first thing we're going to look at in this video is how to make a piece of content using Jupyter 8. So the first way you can create content is actually on your homepage of your website. Now, if you want to create a new piece of content, all you have to do is just click on the add content link. You can see there's one link here saying add content, my link here saying add content. So I'm just going to click on this link and you can see we can add a article here, which is basically if you use WordPress, it's basically a post, or we can make a new page by clicking on this link option here. So what I'm gonna do is just make an article for this, this tutorial. So I'm just gonna click on this link here. So what we're gonna focus on first is a title. The title field will be the title for our article. So I'm just gonna call this title Lego because I'm gonna be using a Lego article for uh, this example, make an article. And here we go focus on the text editor. To change the text editor formatter, which is this thing up here, you have uh, these options here. So you have the basic version, which you are using now. You have a restricted HTML. That allows you to put like straight HTML in here, but so you can only use the characters shown here. So for example, you can use a strong tag, use H2, you can use H3 and so on. But you can also choose the full text editor, it gives you more options. But to keep this um, simple, we just got to keep it on basic HTML and just paste the article in. The next thing we want to focus on is the tags option. Now the tag option means we can categorize articles. For example, we could do one about sport or we could do one about obviously Lego, or we could do one about fashion and so on. So that's really good and it helps so we can show related articles by using similar tags on different articles. So I'm just going to put this tag as Lego. And the next thing we're going to focus on is the image tag. So what we draw your attention to is this choose file option. We just go click on this. And we just go click on the image and then it will straight, straight away start uploading the image. Now, if you want to make your image a bit more SEO friendly, you just put text in here. So I just go put Lego, Lego movie. So now we can see our first article we created in Jupyter. We just scroll down, you can see we've got the comment box here. So say if we want to move the comment box from the article, all we'd have to do is just click on edit. And these options on the right hand side, we can disable the comments by just clicking down here, clicking on closed, and then clicking on save and keep and publish. Now, if we scroll down, we can see there's no more comments on this article. And if we click on edit again, we have other options here. We've got a menu option. So say if we want to make this um, content into its own page, the way we do that is just click here and now you can see we have a menu link title so we can actually describe, change the name for this so maybe you want to change it to about. Wait means where it focuses in the menu. I'll show you that what, how that works. So we just click on save and keep and publish. As you can see here, we now have a about menu here. Now the reason why that's gone before the home menu is because that weight was zero. So it goes zero, one, two, three. So we want to make this a one. So this goes after the home page. So we'll just click here. And we will now change this zero to one. Okay, and now you can see the about page is now a second. Other things we can do, we other options we got. We can change the user, so we could change who the author is of the article by just going to here, and we could choose a different author name. And other options we have is we can remove this article from the home page. So if you want to know how to do that, so let's show you what I mean. So for example, if I go to the home page, I can see this about article is actually on shown on the home page too. I just want to show on the about page. So to do that, I just go to this edit option. 
and I go to promotional information and I just uncheck promoted from front page and then save and I want you us to focus back on the home page and we just click on the home page like so we can see the article is no longer there and that's only on the about page so I hope it's a helpful video that's the basics of how to make a content in this video I'll be showing you about uh, how to use the block layout manager so I hope you found this video helpful any questions please feel free to ask leave a comment below and thanks for watching so thank you for watching my video if you found it helpful uh, please like this video or if you want to get more updates you can subscribe to my youtube channel also I'd be most grateful if you like to share this video on twitter facebook or google plus and if you want to visit my website, uh, my link's there. Or if you have any questions or comments or anything you want help with or tool suggestions, yeah, please leave a comment. I do get back to people who reply to me and um, I'm always happy to help you. So thanks for watching again and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.